Walker, short border. I thought he was a long border. No, Who's Stephen the is the long border, oh, the younger the one, border. Skippy. Yeah. yeah. Skippy yeah. Slater. Yeah. And, but they, um, that movie just has this one song, uh, Mean Machine, and it's like, and it's basically like, um, it's this band, what is it? It's that 90s band that sings, I just want to fly. Put your arms around me. And you're like, how are these the same band? It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> on the list. Going on the on list. On the list. Magnetism. can't find any more nowadays though, right? Fucking dope movie. Mm. And then, finally, Raw Irons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, MCD. Psh. Yeah. That was the time. Um, in terms of particular amp up tracks. The songs in there. <laughs> uh, the Root Down remix by Beastie Boys. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, and so it's him. I think that's the Tahiti section, but it's not. It's not Chopu. It's like uh, I think there's a couple of ways of small Chopu, but um, him surfing what looks like a little sort of performance right hand are just fin wafts. And I mean, you look at it now; it probably has dated a little bit, um, but at the time, just really sort of. Uh, I watched it. It's it's going up on the library soon. And oh, really, yeah, and I it's... haven't been able to get a copy of it. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to get it done this weekend, but nice. that it's like that one song, never enough now, never, you know, it's like yeah, real loud yeah, pump yeah, up. Yeah. Like, yeah, that one gives me goosebumps and like gets me all that like really, really hyped, yeah. you yeah. know, and with yeah. him, like just reckless abandon, you know, yeah. just throwing his whole everything into all the turns, like yeah. not, not knowing where he's going to land. It's, it's awesome watching that and type of surfing. Like- 10 foot waves like they're a two foot beachy and just not caring. And you could say though that element of just like, I don't give a fuck. The, like, the best is the opening though. And he's like, I don't want this to be like other profile surf films where I'm doing too much talk, you know? Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this is going to yeah. be good. Oh man. All right. That is your top five pump ups. Yeah. Let's go to your bio here. These are your bio surf films. Now, let me let our listeners know again, these are not documentaries. These are just purely just surf films based around uh, surf. They're profile surfer films where they're just, just about their surfing, basically. Mm. And uh, we start with, oh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a duology. Uh, yeah. Well, I feel like we've already spoken about Slater's Black and White. Um, I, I don't think there's any arguing it's one of, if not the top surf bio films. Yeah. of all time um but i do feel like kelly slater in color is the forgotten it. forgotten little brother of, of the whole situation and it is so good it's it's so bad but so good yeah let me yeah, yeah. let me let me preface <laughs> that it's so it's bad so good it's in, good in terms of yeah the surfing's phenomenal yeah the soundtrack's a bit weird i don't always know how to feel about it hmm. um and it's obviously like so what it I don't know if you know the backstory, but it was uh, apparently Slater's manager, Brian Taylor at the time. Mm. And Slater was like, you know, this manager was a real hard ass, like really, apparently everyone in the surf industry hated him. <laughs> and, but he, he like needed to do something for Slater, like to do videos. Cause he was not going to let him be in Taylor Steele's films. He was going to sue or send like a cease and desist to Taylor Steele for having Slater in his films. You know, he was making the argument, you're making money off of my uh, athlete and not yeah, paying yeah. for it. And yeah, I, obviously right. that, that rubbed Slater the wrong way, I guess at some point, but he, and, and dumped him. But this mm. movie was basically, Brian Taylor basically hodgepodging all this footage together, mm-hmm. you know, to create like the Kelly Slater in color. And it's, but it's so fun. Like in this footage of him and Pam Anderson and like his gold, the snapper contest. Oh. Yeah. Now, just going back to that um, yeah. issue with the management, though, that, that is an interesting one because I often wonder about how that relationship works. And if you are a surfer appearing in a, um, in a, you know, a, a surf film, mm-hmm. do you get royalties from it? Is there any agreement or is it all just about the exposure that you're getting through that film? And I know that um, different filmers have different arrangements with different surfers, um, but there was even an instant recent instance recently where um, Nat Young called out Andrew Kidman Whoa. about appearing in was it on the edge was that Nat, Nat in it? I don't think that was in on the edge but he, he must have 
he appeared in in one of um, Andrew's films and, and made a comment in an interview about it saying, well, you know, I didn't, maybe it was Spirit of Akasha. But um, yeah, anyway, there was a bit of back and forth between them about, you know, wow. that you're, you're making money off my imagery and I should be getting royalties from that. Um, <laughs> Edmund's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah, he, he, got, yeah, he, has, <laughs> he makes, some, I mean, he's just, you know, getting by, my man. <laughs> like, what do you yeah, think? This is not yeah. a fat cat, man. He lives on yeah. a farmhouse, like, in yeah. the middle of nowhere. Yeah, interesting one. Um, anyway, that was a bit of an aside. In terms of the movie itself, um, what were some of my favourite aspects of it? So it was, it was like one of the 10 movies at that time that featured the, was it the 96 pipe comp? The classic? Uh, 95. Uh, 95 with the, with the high five. Yeah. Um, uh, there were some really, really good ways at Sebastian Inlet. Yes. Um, and I think that may have been the era of the, the now immortalized Slater turn, the one that's the statue now. Yes. Yes. That yeah. is in there. And yeah. then there's some water footage, like of just, yeah. just oh, it did, 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 you know, obliterating these little waves. It's like unreal. Yeah. And from what I understand, I I don't know something's happened. I don't think that wave exists anymore. It doesn't like they, the, the banks have changed there or something. And it's they 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 had to readjust the jetty. They had to take it down and rebuild it, the pier, and they they got it back. But it's not quite the same because the angle mm. is different. And um, but it still breaks. There are people surfing there, but it, I don't think it's it's not what it was. Yeah. And it's funny, like I, we, we used to have a wave just like that here in New York and mm. everywhere else would be kind of like knee high. There would be like a waist to chest high wave because it would just refract off the it's jetty. Yeah. And then they changed the angle of the jetty and it disappeared and it, and it doesn't really break anymore. Mm. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's funny, like the geometry uh, luck, you know, in like the wedge, yeah. right? Like all these yeah. waves are kind of pure luck that they happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to get back also to that management thing, because I know it was a discussion in the late 90s. There was a discussion, but I think the thing is they're out in the public domain. And so it's similar to paparazzis who sell photos here in the okay. States, at least. I think it's very similar. Like if you are out in a public space, which most of the time is like a public beach, you are open game, you know, yeah, and yeah. they can use a, the images for whatever stuff they're doing. Yeah with that interesting yeah i think i have i mean i'm not a lawyer so we should, might want to <laughs> okay, listeners might want to check up on that one <laughs> i can start filming ryan yeah. and and i down at the local yeah charging for it but, um but kelly slater in color like it's uh such a fun movie i love it it's, yeah you could just pick it up in, anywhere in an in and of its time for sure it, yeah. there were it i think it was done by this guy uh johnny g or johnny d and he um, made these other movies called Water and Power and a couple others. And his, I think he was the father of Henry Mills, who was Hank Mills, who was a surfer, he used to be on The Search okay. at one point. And he yeah. would go around and film his son, I, I believe. And I think that a lot of that footage was from him for that. Because okay. the songs were like the same too. Yeah, yeah. But uh, fun fact. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, look, I mean, in terms of, you couldn't really package them together, but... Um other than the fact that they both share the same subject matter. But I, I felt like everyone always talks about black and white. Everyone just forgets about colour. And it was just such a classic yeah. little 90s. And, 90s and don't forget Letting Go. Oh, Kelly right. Slater, yeah. where he won yeah. his world title back. Yeah. And then he's like all emotional. And then Taylor Steele had teased uh, in the early 2000s he was going to do a Slater signature film. Took out an ad and everything. And then it never materialized. And yeah. I've asked yeah. him about it like, was the Slater signature film, man? Yeah, <laughs> I have to imagine Slater watching The Last Dance, just being yes. like, "This should be me." When's mine coming out? <laughs> why, why aren't I getting this? And it's... I think, I think if they did something with him, it would be equally as fascinating. Now, I haven't actually seen the Momentum Generation. You haven't? No, I haven't. Still haven't seen it. So good. Yeah. It's... Yeah. It fulfills all your childhood questions, a lot of your childhood questions. It's, it's similar in, in regards to watching The Last Dance as well. Do you get that sort of... A little bit, yeah. I mean, yeah, to a certain extent. They, yeah. they definitely get, get somewhat, they get pretty honest. And they, they're definitely, it's, it's very, yeah, I could, I could, you could stand them up uh, with each other. 
to mm. a certain extent, but a Slater one yeah. would um, be great, particularly if you could interview the people around his life at each time period to yeah. get a view, an, an, you know, a different viewpoint or vantage point of him at each time period. Cause yeah. I'm sure the evolution is, is really interesting. Mm. Yeah. We should make that. All right. We'll go pitch it to him. I'll yeah. send him a message yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so <laughs> next bio, we, we have Raw Irons again. Can't what do we say? Anymore. And then we yeah. go to chapter 11. Mm. Lane Reynolds. Mm. Lane, what's that? I just, I just like to fuck with surfers' names. Like I go Robbie Avocado, Lane, Gar- <laughs> Lane, Lane Reynolds, uh, like Brad Lane Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so where to go with this one? I remember when this came out, I was working in the local surf shop. Oh, yeah. And um, would have the run of what DVD was being played in the screen, uh, in the mm-hmm. like in the in store screen. Yeah. Um, and it was just this movie on repeat. So I've seen it a lot of times. Wait, chapter was- 11 or chapter one? Chapter 11. Chapter 11 is the one he came out a few years oh, ago about shit. Quicksilver. You there know? you go. I, I've written it incorrectly. I meant chapter one, the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah chapter one. Totally. That it came sense, in that cardboard chapter, box. Because oh. chapter 11 is the bankrupt. Sorry chapter 11 is the, the final in that trilogy. Which is actually, <laughs> I really fucking enjoyed too. Um, that was so a, good. a really, really good movie. But no, I'm going to go back to the original chapter one. Sorry. Um, now, there's the one wave that he surfs in Africa somewhere. It's that right hander where he's getting... Cave Rock? Yeah, so it's like three or four, like five second barrels on the one wave, and it would just keep jacking up and running again and jacking up and running again. Oh my god, so good! Um, But even at that early stage, you could see some of the facets of his personality coming through. Um, Totally, some of the the seeds of where he's at now. Um, And even even though it was, you know, like a Quicksilver branded sort of regular um, young hype movie it still had that distinct Dane feel about it. Um, and uh, you could, I don't think anybody would have guessed where from there where he's ended up. But looking back on it now, you can see the, the seeds of... It, it. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. there was... You know, he started hanging out with Thomas Campbell and that just corrupted yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I feel like yeah. he has that effect on a lot of surfers. It gets them all yeah. like artsy and creative and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, chapter one was great because he was very uncomfortable about doing it. He He's a very shy person. Yeah. And so I think there's a bit, so I think a lot of people who are uncomfortable with the attention, you know, self-deprecate and, um, and so he was make, being humorous about himself and trying to make fun of himself. Mm. And, and mm. you know, even that movie, he was really taking the piss out of himself a lot of it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah the, the, it's refreshing and nice and, and a bit, a nice bit of humility to see from yeah. someone that good. Yeah. And yeah. it was really cool because I remember at the time, I think it was him and Jordy were like the two <laughs> big hypes and there hadn't been that sort of hype around a surfer really that in that in that um that amount since maybe since later maybe yeah. a, a one or two others but um everybody was just so enthralled with who this guy was and um as a way of announcing himself it was a very dang way of doing it um yeah, yeah. no and it's like it's great seeing how his surfing is just you know he's filled the way he's filled out is just yeah made it. It just works so well because you can yeah. see he's still a little gangly. Yeah. yeah. But um, oh my God, man. He is. Mm. Yeah, that, that yeah, movie was great. I was psyched. Yeah. And he had the music selection too. Yeah. He, he's got great music taste. Yeah. So next is montage. Mm, very hard to go past. <sighs> very, very hard to go past. Again, in terms of uh, announcing somebody on the scene. So I feel yeah. like. I mean, Taj had been around since a very young age, um, but this was his first full-length feature. Um, yeah. 
and you would usually just be seeing him in you know short clips or um, bits and pieces here and there obviously in the pre-digital age so this yeah. was the first time you ever got that full close-up of, of him 